Welcome here today to Hot Legendary Wheels. We are excited and pumped, Dad, to have all our viewers here today on our show. And today we are going to be covering some Johnny Lightnings. Plus, Dad, you remember the Got to Go Satin and Chrome bullet truck? That's right. We have the original back from 2017 to show them of that. Also, these cars that are in the backdrop, I will be describing each one of them in a future video. Uh, you know, some of them are even from the 1970s, which are incredible, which we'll get into that in a future video. If you pan over here to the left, I'm going to pull this in uh, for just a minute, take this one off the top. Uh, this is, then I'll let you describe this. This will also be in a future video. Let me pan this down for just a second. This will be in a future video, a 1950s Studebaker champion. We had some, we had some um, subscribers that were very interested in the Studebaker, so it's been one of my favorite cars through the years, and a very unique car. And, uh, and we, I actually uh, had one when my family did when I was very young. So um, I'm looking forward to having a chance to share something. We got some pretty neat yes, some information really on the Studebakers to share. Uh, at a future video, maybe so, a, a couple of couple times. Yes, yeah, so we're waiting on your mom to get the picture um, right. where you're standing next to the Studebaker. That's right. I was a year old. So, so once we get that picture, we will show you the video of, we'll, we'll go into more detail on this 1950 Studebaker. Yes, yeah, some, some of the specs on this 50 and this 51. Yep. Now up here, the, the baby blue one is a 1951 it is um, a Johnny Lightning. Yep, Johnny Lightning, Studebaker. And, of course, we'll be going into great detail with that one, but we're waiting on to get the picture that uh, Dad's mom has of him standing next to one. That's going to be an awesome video. But today we have some incredible – you remember last week, Dad, we told everybody, okay, this week we're – or, yeah, this week we're going to have a Johnny Lightning special. That's right. So today – We've got some Johnny Lightnings from way back. We've got, exactly, and this is Dad's collection um, of some Johnny Lightnings he's got. Yeah. But, like I said, we do have some Hot Wheels of the Got To Go toilet truck from the release of it back from 2017. I'm going to jump into that first. This is the Satin and Chrome 2019 toilet truck, and I'm going to turn these back lights off now. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is... The Satin Chrome Toilet Truck for 2019, and this came out this year. Uh, I love this got to go, you know, toilet truck. I think it's really cool. I think it's really awesome. I think it's really neat. I and, think that um, was very basically the chase vehicle for the Satin and Chrome set. Exactly. It and wasn't it, listed on the set, but it was the chase. It was vehicle. the chase vehicle, exactly. And here is. The new for 2017 release, part of the Xperia Motors, got to go original toilet truck. Dad, what do you like about this um, toilet truck here? It's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. I tell you what, it's very unique. Uh, and uh, I guess, you know, you got to go, you got to go. But, uh, <laughs> uh. but I'm telling you, these cars here uh, just... just Remind us of really how Hot Wheels can take just about any type of a subject matter and use it for a vehicle purpose. And so uh, this is really neat. It's really cool what Hot Wheels has done with this Got to Go vehicle. Yeah, I like if you can see right here the 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 wheels are really cool. The toilet seat. Um, it this was a really cool uh, new for 2017. Um, original got to go truck, toilet truck, really incredible detail, and I really love the satin chrome. And I think Hot Wheels did an ex extraordinary, or should we say, legendary, legendary job on their satin and chrome set that they came out with with the got to go truck. It's very beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, so today we have promised you, and um, if you like this got to go truck, just uh, leave a comment. Uh, let us know if you have it in your collection. But first, before we get into this Johnny Lightnings special we have for you today, Dad and I want to greatly appreciate every new subscriber. Without y'all, and Dad, I, you know, I say this every week because it is the truth. Dad, without our subscribers, this show is not possible. That's right. This channel is not possible. We need each and every one of you, and just be... Um, kind 
enough to share with other people about how you enjoy the channel here because we sure enjoy bringing you all these cars and these different information and stuff. Hopefully share some fun facts with you along the way. Yes, and you know, we love collecting these die casts and we've been collecting them. Well, Dad, how long? Okay, here's a question. Tell everyone how long. When was the first, if you if you can remember, when was the first die cast car that you collected? What, what year was it that you collected your first die cast car? Well, it wasn't, I don't know that I collected myself, but I had people who would get the cars for me. And uh, I remember even as a, a child of uh, three or four years old, and I was rolling these little um, English made uh, matchbox cars uh, on the couch and just having a good time playing with them, even at a child age. But I had learned a lot of the different cars by that time, so they were very special to me. I really loved them. So, uh, you know, when I first started collecting my first Hot Wheels, well, Dad, y'all, y'all, I think you gave me some of your Hot Wheels back from the 1970s because I have them over here, right. somewhere in this collection over here. Um, and like I said, we're going to jump into these in a future video. Ooh, look right there, Dad. Yeah. The Gotta Go truck out of the pack. There it is. Right there. That's one of my favorite die casts. Um, see this Jeep right here? This Jeep up here? Let me just take this out of here just really quick. This Jeep, all right, which is so cool, is back from 19, let's see, 1990. This is a little Hot Wheels Army Jeep. It looks real cool. Back from the 1990. We're going to describe these in a future video, but I thought it would be pretty cool to put them in part of the backdrop and let you see them. And like I said, in a future video, we're describing. But today, we have a special Johnny Light special for you. And let's jump in because we got a lot to cover. Uh, but yes, we want to thank all of our new subscribers. We want to thank our subscribers. We want to thank y'all for your comments. Um, and we're at 22 subscribers right now. Um, let's, Dad, I'm gonna, I just want to throw it out there. What if we could break 30 subscribers? That'd be nice. You know, we have a special, like I said, Studebaker, um, 1950 Studebaker Champion video coming out, 1951 Studebaker Champion com, uh, Commander coming out. Uh, plus, we're going to be describing these in a future video. So we got some incredible videos, and we need y'all to share, share, share. The biggest way that you can grow this, this channel is to share, 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 and subscribe. And once you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can be notified for future videos. The first Johnny Lightning Dad that we need that that, would be, that that we're gonna get into here today is right here. This is the 68 Chevy Impala convertible Coca-Cola sports cars auto sport. This is a cool die cast from Johnny Lightning. Yes, 1968. Uh, our family had a 69, but back in 1968, uh, GM used to have a, a uh, they used to build cars over in Doraville, Georgia. And we would go out there every year. We'd get tickets to go out there every year, new people that worked there. And uh, we'd go look at the new models that GM would have. <coughs> and I remember going and looking at the 68s, and that was the first year that they actually put the uh, taillights down in the bumper. Yep. And so it was different to see that, and it was a beautiful design on the car. And, of course, the 69, they did the little uh, rectangular ones in the bumper. And the 70 had the little rectangular up and downs on the ends in the bumper. So it was a big uh, big design plus for them because they sold a lot of cars those years. But that is a very beautiful car. The convertible of those cars is just simply a timeless design. I like the hood on this 68 Chevy Impala. It says, Coke adds life to sports, and it's got the picture of the lady uh, running and on the hood. Very cool. And uh, love this die cast. And this is an incredible die cast, 68 Chevy Impala convertible. The one to the right over here have the Johnny Lightning's 19, right here, Johnny Lightning's 1955 uh, Ford panel delivery by Surf Rods. And this came out, Dad. And Johnny Lightning in 2003. Those are some really cool trucks. Anyway, the trucks are very beautiful. 55 and 56 Fords are simply timeless and legendary designs. 
But this panel truck right here, it just stop you in your tracks. Yes, I've been, very awesome. I have been to many shows, and when these trucks are out there, people are just around them. Just even to this day, they just simply admire the uh, beauty and just the uh, wonderful lines that you can find in that 1956 and 55 Ford truck. I love how Johnny Light and Dad does their detail to all their automobiles. Um, as you can see, uh, their detail to this 1955 Ford panel delivery, the detail of the surfing, um, and, and the, look at the surfboards on top. That is really cool. That is really cool right there. I tell you what, any time that you can put, there's two things that really are super cool on a car. Number one is flames. You put flames on a car. It looks like they're going fast. It looks just simply outstanding. Surfboards, that just means I'm going to the beach and we're going to have some fun. We're going to have, some, we're going to have a good time. That's so it. Between this, uh, between over here to the left, this 1968 Chevy Impala convertible and the 1955 Ford Van, uh Ford panel delivery, two legendary die casts by Johnny Lightnings. And who doesn't love Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola is awesome. And um, who doesn't love surfboards and surf rides? That's right. And love going to the beach. I know it's fun to go to the beach on the vacation, you know. It's fun to go down there and just have a good time. It's summertime, so find me some water. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hey, there's not much to, there's, there's not really much left to summer, so... Uh, go out there and enjoy it. There's well, not I've, much left. I've actually dropped the top on a convertible when it was 28 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really. But really? what you do, hey, this is what you do. You can roll the side windows up and just go fast enough where the air comes across the top of the windshield and turn the heat up. And you've got all the outside and a nice warm cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dad, um, you know, in our last video, we talked about the Corvette. And you literally have right here a Johnny Lightning part of Rebel Rods, a 57 Vet Gasser. Yes, it is. Now, <laughs> I will say this. All the, we all the are Gasser lovers. Yeah, we've got a, okay. we got a lot of different ga a Gasser die cast, but this is one of them right here of a timeless design. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Corvette. Really? Really. Really. Well, in order for people to see this 57 Vet Gasser, they're going to have to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. We'll have it on the next video because we're going to jump to another car. I want to, you know, I'm going to save the Gasser because uh -huh. this Vet Gasser is incredible. It is. So, Dad, what do people have to do in order to see... The 57 Vet Gasser. Well, what I heard you say a while ago, they need to subscribe. They need to subscribe. And I promise you all, along with the 1950 Studebaker champion, we will have the 57 Vet Gasser from Johnny Lightning. It's part of Rebel Rods in the next video. But right now, I want to jump into this cool hot rod right here. Johnny Lightning's, you guessed it. The 1929 Ford pickup. I this was on Hot Rod. Look, there's Hot Rod's magazine. It was. Uh, 132 easy horses. I'm telling you this much. Yeah, they call them the Roaring Twenties. It was. Yes. A, it was a lot going on in the 1920s, and Ford was right in the middle of the mix in the 1920s. And this particular Ford is one of those timeless. As you see, just look look at the design on this Ford. The nineteen you got the nineteen twenties and the nineteen thirties and even the nineteen forties yes. Ford. There'll be many. You go to you go and see these things now. They either have been restored, or even the originals. But the ones that have been restored, especially like street rod versions of them. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the street rod versions of them. This does not want to stay. No, no the, the street rod versions of them. Well, what they do a lot of times is they'll actually take and put a different chassis underneath the uh, 1920s body and a lot of times convert over as well to Chevy uh, power uh, power plants and stuff. But it, um, not to cut down the Fords or anything because the Fords were very powerful in those days, but the, the Chevrolets are uh, some of the better engines they use these days for the street riding. But 
This car right here, as you see the detail that Johnny Lightning has put into oh this replica. Goodness. Look at these. Look at the red, the red paint job. Um, and, of course, the beautiful, man, I love these wheels. Um, the interior is white. And they have the black vinyl roof. And, man, the detail to the motor, the chrome motor, Dad. Look at that detail to that motor. That is just, I mean... I've got a Phillips 66 for it as well. It's a 27, and uh, we've seen it before. We can bring them back any time. But these particular cars right here are just over the top. They just did such a phenomenal job on these die casts of craftsmanship. I am very proud to have this as part of my collection. Incredible how, um, you know, Johnny Lightning, like we said, came out and did a die cast, part of Hot Rods magazine, with the 1929 Ford pickup. Um, it says right here on the side, collect all 24. Yep. So this was an incredible die cast, or should we say legendary, legendary. die cast. And we're going to jump into a, another classic gold Johnny Lightning. That's right. Right here we have a classic gold Johnny Lightning, and it's awesome as ripped. As you can see right here, this is really cool, Dad. This is a 1965 Chevy Impala. Now, let's let's see something. We have the 68 Chevy Impala and this wonderful, I would say, kind of like a um, kind of like a neon green. There's a lot of Coke cars and trucks have that color green on. Exactly. And then you have the 1965 Chevrolet Impala SS. Part of the Johnny Lightning's classic gold. This is a beautiful baby blue, just a just a beautiful baby blue car. Now, if you remember, just a, a couple of diecasts ago, I mean, die look, look a couple of, that, of shows ago, we actually had the convertible 118 Hot Wheels 1965 Chevrolet Lowrider. Well, this is like a factory version of the two door fastback of the 1965. It was a top selling year for Chevrolet during the whole 60s decade. And this is, you can just see the beautiful lines, the beautiful yes. design on the car, but it was just a phenomenal car. They, they had plenty of power, they were roomy, they were comfortable, uh, they were just beautiful works of art. And the 66 was very much like the 65, except for the taillights and a little change on the nose. Everything else just about in the car was the same. What's so cool, I think, about this 1965 Chevrolet Impala SS is it went fast. Yeah. I mean, it that it literally went fast. And look at the mag wheels. You know, I'm, I, I've said this in, in a past video. We're huge mag wheel fans. Look at the mag wheels on this 65 Chevrolet Impala SS, the baby blue, the black interior. I mean, the chrome bumpers, wonderful die casts. Classic gold, Johnny Lightens. Dad, what's your favorite? Okay, I have to ask that dad this. Okay. So dad, if you went to a racetrack, I have a question for you. If you went to a racetrack, mm -hmm. the flag went down. Yep. Okay. Green flag. And you had the 1965 Chevrolet Impala SS against the 1964 Pontiac GTO. Here's a question, and I want everybody to leave a comment. If you can, leave a comment. Let us know that which one do you think would win that race? The Impala would come with a 390 horsepower engine as a top engine in that year. But they had the 389 with two four barrels on the GTO, which was a mid-sized car. Which is right here. This is the GTO. And it this would have... The Impala. It would have just a hair more horses, a little more torque. I would have to say GTO would win that one. So you honestly would say that the Pontiac will win over over the Chevrolet. Have you ever heard the song, They Beat the Gassers in the Rail Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so I, Dad, I have to honestly say this. Now, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Pontiac and, and the GTO, especially the 1964 Pontiac GTO, but... You know what? I have to say something right now. Mm. 
Here's, here's, what, what, okay, here's, here's what you, here's, here's what you balance with fall. Listen, here's what no, I mean. no, no. Here's, here's what, you what I need with to fall. say right now. That would fall with the Chevelle, huh? the GTO, or the 442. Those would be the ones you'd want to see go to battle. Oh, oh, oh. So mention those again. Be like your Chevelle and uh-huh. your GTO. Those are your midsize. Did you say Olds. Yeah, Olds 442. Really? Because right here, I know it. We now, literally have a nineteen. Now, hold up, we literally. Now we're talking. We literally have a nineteen. Now you're talking. Old Cutlass four forty two. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, take okay. Some of those four forty twos even let, had let, four fifty five. Let's though. take the nineteen sixty five Chevrolet Impala SS out of the equation right now. Mm-hmm. Let's just take it out of the equation. Out of the equation. Even though it's a heavy car. Even though I know. This will win against that. I'm gonna take it out of the equation. As much as I love Chevrolet, equation, equation, equation. you gotta put you gotta put the fact where the fact is. <laughs> so here's a question. I'm gonna y'all leave comments. We love comments. Subscribe to the channel. So between the 1967 Olds Cutlass 442 and the 1964 Pontiac GTO, which do you think would win? Now, I have a second cousin <laughs> that he took his dad's Olds 442 down to the drag strip. Okay. It was in 1966. So, it was a year It was a year earlier than this 1967. That's right. And he was winning races down there with anything they put up next to it. So, you're saying, and I want to get this straight in front of all of our viewers right here. I'm just saying that old so right there. That old so, right so there. You're saying that don't you, mess with. So it. you're saying the 1967 Olds Cutlass 442 by Johnny Lightning. That's right. Would beat. Is very well. Would, would beat. Would win against the 1964 John Pontiac GTO. It very well could. Are you telling our viewers that? It would be very close. Really. It would be a very close competition. That was a bigger car. The Oldsmobile was a bigger car then than the GTO. But they, but they were eventually, once it got into the late 60s, they would drop it down to the midsize. But these cars right here are very comparable. That weight right there was a little, it had a little higher weight on that car than the GTO did. But as far as the power, they were very close. Okay, I'm going to tell everybody what I think. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to let everybody know which one I think would win. Mm-hmm. I am personally going to go with... Okay. I'm you got to subscribe to the channel to know. <laughs> I am, I'm, that's it. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That's gonna, it. I am going to look up the stats on these cars. Okay. So, okay, so... I'm so gonna, I am going to come... Up. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. that's yeah, We're going to come back. We're going to come back that's with, it. with the stats. Dad said he is going to look up the stats. I am. Between the 1960, oh, there goes my pen. Oh, I'm going to look between a bunch the, of them up. Yeah. Between the 1967 Old Cutlass 442 and the 1964 Pontiac GTO. And you're going to tell Every us. Every week you come back and you mess with me like this, but I'm yeah. going to be ready, man. I'm going to have the stats gonna te- right here in front of me as you speak. <laughs> so you're going to tell us and you're going to let us know which one is going to win. Okay, so everybody who hasn't subscribed to the channel, do it right now. Because we're going to have the yeah. stats yeah. on both of these automobiles. I'm going to get them. You don't want to miss out on that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on the stats we have for. I wouldn't the care which race one. I don't care. On I don't care minutes. which one of those cars you drum uh, that you decided you were going to drive. You better tighten up the belts <laughs> and you better hang on because these boys right here. They don't mess around. So let's just tell everybody that this next week you're going to have the stats mm-hmm. for these two automobiles. Oh, yeah. But they've got to subscribe mm-hmm. in order to well, find out the I'll, stats on these two automobiles. That's right. And I am going to be. I am going to be prepared. I'm going to be ready for you, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, always, so you always popping these things on me, man. That is going to be good because hey, we still got to come in. Hey, I got to get the Viper too against the Corvette. Oh, so, so you're going to look at the stats? Between I don't forget remember, things. Okay, I don't remember, forget remember things. Remember last, you know, the last I video. Remember. I said, hey, I said, hey. Would the Corvette win against the Viper, or would the Viper win against the Corvette? You're going to say. So, 
Are you gonna say I'm right? So uh, <laughs> I'm right, uh, man. Uh, mm. no, I already I'm told my answer, you, of course. You go, no, you won't do. <laughs> so this next one we have, Dad, <laughs> is a custom Rambler wagon. Wow. Now hold up. This right here, these this. cars have not been seen in a long time. We've got a neighbor that actually has a Rambler, a 66 model. So this one right here it's is a so custom cool. Rambler wagon. So, yeah. hmm. And I've got some stats on that one already. I'm ready to go, son. Oh, I'm so you're ready to go on the stats. I on this am one. ready. All right, let's show them. Freddy. Okay, so <laughs> here is the custom. Okay, everybody, let's stop what we're doing. The Johnny Lightning Thunder, part of Thunder Wagons. Okay? Now, yeah. this is a custom I, wagon. I got some more of those Thunder Wagons. What are wagons? the stats? Okay, here's a question. What are the stats on this wagon? Well, if you look at it, it's a two-door wagon, so it kind of favored. Uh, they were trying to have something that would kind of compete with the Chevy Nomad. Of course, my family had a 1958 Ford that actually was a two-door wagon as well because my parents didn't want... Us kids back here messing with the back doors and fall out. <laughs> but um, at any rate, this car was one that was sort of like the Chevy Nomad. But the thing that it had, it had a 195.6 cubic inch. Wow, so that was a powerful inline. Engine. It had 90 horsepower. Now, 90 horsepower for the day was pretty good. And it had plenty of torque. Uh, well, for, the, for back then, for today, it wouldn't be very much. But... Uh, drum brakes all the way around. It was it. It cost about a little over seventeen hundred dollars, brand new. You know, goes, Ooh, man, seventeen hundred. Where's they made a seventeen hundred dollar car these days? Yeah, that'd be nice. But they did and that. But but the car itself, um, it actually was one of those cars that's very roomy inside for the size of it. Right. They did have a Rambler that year that was a Rambler Ambassador <laughs> wagon that actually would seat nine people. Okay, so hold up. You're saying it would seat nine Yeah, people. this this was a five-passenger type thing. Wow. That is, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was. And uh, so anyway, this was called a two-door custom wagon. That's what it was called. So this custom wagon, wagon was a two-door. Uh-huh. Um, I like how Johnny Lightning did, did the detail to this, uh, part of Thunder Wagons, and that this is just a legendary, extraordinary, authentic vehicle, Dad. Vehicle, it's just incredible as anything. Well, um, some, some people was wondering, you know, I, I was wondering sometimes people would kind of wonder about, you know, they hear about these cars and they only cost uh, like twenty five hundred dollars back then or yeah. seventeen. They say, well, gee, you know, what was it like back in nineteen fifty eight through nineteen sixty? Well, I know what it was like because uh, we actually did pay those for cars back then. Average price of a car back then was twenty six hundred dollars. That's amazing. Well, the average the average income for a family was something like fifty three hundred and fifteen dollars a year. Yeah, but you can make fifty three hundred dollars go a long so way. So that was a lot of money. For twelve thousand five hundred dollars to twelve thousand eight hundred dollars was the price common price of a house. So that was the that was the income. Yeah. Or the 50s yeah. and 60s back in the day. Yeah, back in like the 58 up to the 1960. But also, uh, I guess one of the neat things is that a gallon of gas back then uh, actually was only on average of 31 cents for a gallon of gasoline. But the there was a total amount of these uh, ramblers that were made during 1958 uh, through 1960. And it was about 7 million... 905,119. That's, That's a lot amazing. of Ramblers. Wow. That's a lot of Ramblers. And they had so many different kinds. This is just one of the one of the models they made that year. But, yeah, this was a, uh, uh, my uncle, one of my uncles actually had a Rambler like that. And he had several Ramblers. He liked them. And uh, so at any rate, I thought I'd bring that one to you today. You don't see those things anymore. No, I mean, you, you can't even you find them at a show. Yeah, They're very hard to find. This is amazing right here. Um, if you like this custom Rambler wag wagon, uh, just give us a thumbs up and leave a comment on any of these cars we have shown you today. But like I said, if, if you want to find, you know, Dad is going to have the stats. <laughs> you better write Dad me. is going to you, have you the You write me some notes down before we start these shows <laughs> and let me know so I can be prepared. Dad, this is why you have to subscribe <laughs> to the channel 
This is why you have to subscribe because I'm telling you, every single video we have is going to be different. We're going to have all, Dad's got so much description to tell in every single video that we have on every car we have, and he's going to find the stats on the 1967 Olds Cutlass 442 and the 1964. Uh, Pontiac GTO. If I so don't have the on these, this next video. If I don't know, I will find he out will for the find next it also show. on this next video. Huh. But you gotta subscribe. You have to subscribe. We have the '57 Vet Gasser by Johnny Lightning. Corvette has always been one of my favorite cars. So that's gonna be on the next video. Also, on the next video we have. From uh, you know some new 2016 models that we're bringing out from the archives of our collection. Um, one is a 15 Dodge Charger SRT, and one is a 70 Plymouth AA Arcuda, which we'll have in the next video. Dad, I'm gonna just take a moment before we close. Uh, we have shown them so much here today, and I want to thank you know we we want to thank every one of our subscribers. Everyone who listens and views and comments to the show that we have for them, every single, you know, every single show that we put out is a special show. And it is to honor the diecast and honor the automobile. Um, whether it's a Johnny Lyman and two Hot Wheels, Matchbox, you know, um, Mahistos, whatever it may be, is to honor the automobile and the diecast and the diecast maker. Um, and we are honored to bring these videos to you, our viewers, every single week. And we are just honored and privileged. And we hope that you enjoy this. And we've got so much more to come in this next video. And I'm so glad, Dad, that we showed them the original. That's right, the original back from 2017 the got to go toilet truck, and of course the 2019 satin and chrome got to go toilet truck. And of course, you see all these Hot Wheels. There's a few match Matchbox. There's a Matchbox right here, uh, Matchbox Jeep Rescue EMT. We'll be showing these in a future video. And there is the opened got to go. Same thing as this one toilet truck over here. Um, Dad, is there anything you want to say before we leave? Well, all of our subscribers, all those who view our channel, you guys make it very special yes. for us. And um, when you're out at the store, just take time to go by the diecast. Uh, there you go. Just take time to go by the uh, area where the diecasts are over in the toy section. And just take a look. If you've never collected before, I think this thing could really grab you pretty quickly. You'll see something that really you can identify with. And you will really enjoy. But for those who do collect, there's always something new. And, and you never know when you'll find that treasure, that one thing that just hits you. Yeah. And you say, oh, that brings back so, so many memories. I just remember so much just just being able to see that car. It brings back so much for me. Well, you know, that's what they do. And they're very special. So and these guys that make these things, the companies that make these, hey, don't hesitate to give them thanks because... Man, they're preserving history right here. And they're showing us the history of where the automobile was born, where it has come from, and through the and, years. And what it is now. Yes, sir. Which is amazing. Yes. Also, in this next video, we have another Johnny Lightning right here that has a car cover with it. Mm -hmm. How incredible is that? And also, we have an awesome Johnny Lightning 1987 Chevrolet or should I say Chevy Monte Carlo SS. So much dad coming up in this next video. But that 57, oh man, that 57 Bet Gasser. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to show him this, this in the next video. And of course, when dad gets from his mom the picture that she has of him standing next to the 1957, or... The 1950 Studebaker champion. Um, Dad, we'll show that video once you get that. That's picture. right. I have a lot of information on studio, Studebaker. A lot of information. I love these cars. I've, I've seen many of them. Of course, we had one, so I rode many miles in them. Ours actually uh, went 300,000 miles. And so, uh, built very well. Very well. So, Dad, I have a question. 
before we leave, if we get up to 30, we're at 22 subscribers right now. If we get up to 30, what we need to show them something very special, mm -hmm. something very and very unique. I know that, ladies and gentlemen, I know that we can get up to 30 subscribers very easily. I believe that we believe that our viewers are car lovers. Yeah. And they're car enthusiasts. Yeah. And that's the reason why they watch this channel. They're diecast lovers. They're there. diecast lovers, diecast enthusiasts. We thank y'all for tuning in today. So much to cover in this next video, plus the 57 Vet Gasser. But you need to subscribe to see that and hit the notification bell. And Dad's going to be having the stats on these two <laughs> right here. He's going to be getting the stats up. So don't want to miss out on that. Thank y'all for tuning in. And remember, keep being legendary. legendary.